Let us consider a two particle system with the masses m1, m1 and m2. Let, let us join these masses. So this is the line joining the center of masses of these two masses. Let the position vector of the mass m1 be r1 and that of m2 be r2. Let us call this one as r1 which means the position vector of m1 r1 and the position vector of m2 be r2. The center of mass of these two systems will be somewhere in the line joining these two points. Let us assume the center of mass be at this point. Let us call that point as C. And the position vector of the center of mass be RCM. Let us call that as RCM. The different forces, the different forces acting on these masses are first one, let an external force of F, F1 that is Fe external, F1 external is acting on the mass M1 and let there is an external force of F2 external acting on the second mass. There will always be the gravitational force of attraction between these two masses. The, it will be attractive and the force exerted by the mass M2 on M1 will be in this direction and it will be F12. Similarly, the force of attraction by the mass M1 on M2, let's call that as F21. F21. So these are the different forces acting on the masses. Now, for the system of these two masses, the forces let F1 let F1 be the force acting on M1 then F1 is equal to F1 be the total force total force acting on M1 then F1 equal to you have two forces acting on M1 that is F1 external plus F12. Similarly, the total force acting on the total force acting on M2 mass M2 will be let us call that as F2 will be F2 external that is this force and F21 plus F21 and you also know that force acting on the total force or the net force acting on any body will be mass of that body times acceleration. This is according to Newton's law that is F is equal to MA. Similarly for the second body the net force acting will be M2 times A2. Clear. So for the system, the total force for the system, the total force acting on the system, system means the system of two particles will be F1 plus F2. That is all the forces on the mass M1 plus all the forces on the mass M2, which is equal to we can write that as F1 external plus F12 plus F21 plus F2 external. Clear. Therefore, Therefore, this F1 plus F2, F1 plus F2 will be F1 external plus, see, this F12 
is equal to minus F21. They act as an action reaction pair. So, according to Newton's third law, F21 is equal to minus F21. So, instead of F12 root, you can write plus, here it is, instead of F, uh, F12, you can write of minus F21 plus F21 plus F2 EXT external. So you can cancel this one and this one. So the total, but also you know F1 is equal to M1 A1 plus F2 equal to M2 A2 is equal to F1 external plus F2 external. Clear. Let us assume that these total force will be F. The total force acting on the system is equal to F, that is F1 external plus F2 external equal to F. So, M1 A1 plus M2 A2 is equal to F, where F is equal to F1 external plus F2 external. Clear. Now, we have assumed that for the system, it behaves, the, the system behave, behaves as it is concentrated at the, at, at the center of mass. The entire mass of the body is assumed to be concentrated at the center of mass. So, the force F, F uh, is assumed to act on the center of mass. So, we have M1 A1 plus M2 A2 is equal to m m means the total mass of the system where m is equal to m1 plus m2 m equal to m1 plus m2 times acceleration of the center of mass since this force the total force is assumed to act on the center of mass so we have this relation m1 a1 plus m2 a2 is equal to m a c a that is, this acceleration can be written as m1. Acceleration is the double derivative of the position. That is d square r1 by dt square. Plus here m2 times a2 will be d square r2 divided by dt square is equal to similarly m acceleration of center of mass will be d square rcm by dt square clear now you can simplify this as so this can be simplified as d square by dt square times m1 r1 since the mass remains constant this expression can be written like this also plus d square by dt square this one can be written as m2 r2 divided by you can take this m to the left by m is equal to d square by dt square rcm clear d square by dt square rc since the double derivative is constant, you can take that outside that is d square by dt square of since m is also constant m1 r1 plus m2 r2 whole divided by m m is equal to m1 plus m2 m1 plus m2 is equal to d square by dt square of rcm now you can remove this double derivative and the final expression will be final expression will be we have m1 r1 plus m2 r2 divided by 
m1 plus m2 is equal to the position vector of the center of mass. So what is the case if the if the masses are equal? That is if if m1 equal to m2 both the masses are equal to let's say that's a, that has m then rcm will be you can write m1 as mr1 plus mr2 divided by m plus m this is equal to m you can take that outside r1 plus r2 divided by 2m m plus m is 2m you can cancel this m and m then rcm will be rcm is equal to position vector of center of mass is equal to r1 plus r2 divided by 2 if the masses are equal the expression turns out to be like this clear